Well, even with construction just about everywhere you look, it is still difficult to afford a home in the Denver Metro. And Colorado lawmakers are trying to speed up the construction process with a bill to support modular homes. Denver 7 politics reporter Megan Lopez explains what those are and how much more affordable they can be. Inside the Simple Homes Manufacturing Facility in Globeville, it's loud. So loud you can barely hear yourself speak. It's not your typical modular or manufactured home. All this noise, the sound of progress. We opened this factory about two years ago. We build prefabricated building components. In just two years, within the walls of this facility, workers have constructed 350 homes using computer models to design down to the last support beam. This is a project we're super excited about. This is actually up in Winter Park. The data is then sent to an automated saw that cuts the wood, then a printer where the wood has assembly instructions stamped onto it, then to the workers who nail the walls together and then ship them out to the construction site. Each one of these houses will get framed up to so go from foundation to dried in, weather tight in three to four days. Jeff Hoffenbeck is the co-founder of Simple Homes. He says this process saves time, money, and materials. The other piece is that we just have such a challenge in the construction industry with skilled labor and skilled trades. But this process doesn't require a lot of workers. And at a time housing in Colorado is expensive and in short supply, efficiency matters. We don't try and think of ourselves as, as a disruptor. Um, we try and think of ourselves as a company that's trying to use innovation. The demand for affordable housing in Colorado? We've got uh, a real, real issue with affordable housing. Almost as loud as that factory floor, which brings us here to these two lawmakers, one Republican, one Democrat, and an idea, a bill to offer $40 million in grants for more modular housing. These can be built in Colorado, here in Colorado, by Coloradans, and making sure that we're incentivizing to have that more affordable option get put out into the community. The money will be spread out over three years. It's not going to single-handedly solve the housing crunch, but it can help. And has the potential of putting Colorado on the, on the map of being, you know, one of the most innovative places to solve this problem. As for simple homes. We're, you know, building a 45 unit, four story condo building at 16th and Lafayette. The manufacturing facility is loud as the company and others around the state try to keep up with all the demand. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.